Now we head over to Tech this morning. Now this one will really interest you when we have Alex Ihanacho in the building. You know it's going to be interesting. We're looking at how technology can be a friend or enemy when it comes to financial management. I'm sure Titi will be licking our lips now or trying to get set for this one. Well, Alex is a best-selling author, investor, speaker, and the creator of the Five Wealth Distinction Framework. It is great to have you, Alex. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you, bro. Wonderful. So, um, financial management. What? Are, let's start with that term because that's a term a number of people use, but might not understand what exactly is financial management. Yeah. How do you be? How are you? How do you manage things financially? Yeah, it's basically about you taking charge, right? You taking charge about your finances, and I really like to look at it as you being able to manage yourself around finance, mm. right? So people talk about managing your money. That's hard. What I talk about is managing yourself around your money. That's easy. What's the difference? Yeah, there's a whole lot of difference. I mean, for example, there's a difference between budgeting and planning your money. Mm. When I say budget your money, there is a thing that goes off in your head. There's a negative vibe, like restriction, like, oh, I'm going to suffer for a while. Mm. But when I say plan your money, it's joyful. It's a thing. Everybody wants to plan his money, mm. right? So terms and words are very important. Mm. So instead of you looking at, let me manage money. Money is a big deal. The velocity is much. The energy is plenty. So you need to be able to just learn how to manage yourself around it. Wonderful, wonderful. So financial management is managing yourself Self. from what you say. Now let's get straight into it. What sort of technology, in what ways can you, um, can, can you gain financial management or can it help you? And yeah. in what ways can it be so, a disadvantage? So now, there are, there are inf we have information. We have lots of information that you can assess, mm. right? We have a lot of communities that you can assess. We have a lot of tools that you can assess. We have speed and flexibility. Mm. Um, we have um, ability to use things at your fingertips, mm. right? So these are all things that technology can help you achieve. So, for example, if it comes to things like planning your money, there are apps that you can actually use mm. to log in your expenses because mm. one of the things that happens is what you don't measure, you can control, right? So for you to be able to control your outflow, you have to be able to measure what flows out. Because so what kind of apps are these? So um, we have, for example, um, the budgeting app. Okay. That's just the name. Okay. App. Budgeting we have app. a couple okay. of them. Okay. So what I normally advise people is download a couple of them, like two, three, okay. and see things out. The functionalities differ. differ. Some of them are deeper. So it depends on what you're looking for. And it also depends on your technical knowledge. So mm. if you're more tech inclined, you could find some. some. It also depends okay. on um, what kind of phone you're using, right? Mm. So these are things that might inform what you choose. But look through them, you will see things that might um, interest you. So you could use that to log in your expenses on the go. Just the way you go on and chat, you could log in your expenses. And at the end of the week or the month, you could see, you know, what's going on. So that you'll be able to see, oh, I've been spending so much on Coke lately, or I've been mm. spending so much on XYZ, mm. right? Then you'll be able to know, to cut okay, down on what will I do on this now to be this. able to... In fact, yeah. I was thinking of that for fuel because I've always wanted to plan how much I spend on fuel in a month, but it is that by the time I buy this one, you, buy, you forget, right? Like, you know, now, one, they know what people will tell you. Now, this is me saying a scenario. Someone I know would say, ah, online shopping is a major problem for me. Yeah. So that's how technology has been an enemy to me. That's yeah. for the person. I don't know if you also think that way. But is there any way that someone can manage themselves when it comes to online shopping? Because, hey, I go up, I just type something, and then because of, you know, <laughs> when you, when cookies and all of that yeah. that come in, you know, I you, start right? seeing adverts of these kind of things, and People, they are impulsive by it. Just yeah. say, I like this something. I know. In that way, is technology an enemy when it comes to financial management? So, I think you're your own enemy in that instance. Okay. Because the thing is, what technology has done is, technology is an amplifier, right? It's an ah. amplifier of anything. So, mm. if you're an impulsive buyer, technology has not made you an impulsive buyer. You are just an impulsive buyer by default. So, mm. even in the absence of technology, you will still, still make impulsive make buying decisions. Impulsive buy yeah. So, you need yeah. to solve that problem. You know, what happens to so many people is that we're always looking for how to, you know, disperse responsibility. We don't want to take responsibility. We want to push it to someone else. Mm. So now technology is taking the heat. Yeah, I know the fact that it can amplify. So mm. that's exactly what we're experiencing. But if you can be able to treat the sickness itself, mm. you know, there won't be anything to amplify. So, for example, I go online and I see things. I just see them. Mm. I don't... You don't, you don't, you know, no I don't cool. feel you don't anything feel any, because yeah. I have a self-discipline. I have a self-training. And I have 
you know, my money is planned out. So if I know that I want to buy a phone, for example, right, I'll plan for it. I won't just wake up and then see a phone and suddenly feel like buying one. Hmm. It doesn't make sense, hmm. right? So it comes down to the first thing I said, to the person. learning how to manage yourself. Now this does make um, quite a lot of sense because yeah. when you said it the first time, I know some people might have yeah. been, but now it does. Alex, you are always a treasure. It's always great talking to you. We still have you for one or two more weeks, so we'll still have more time to expound on uh, some of your wonderful, wonderful virtues when it comes to financial management. Thank you very much. Thank you all so right. much. I hope you're able to pick up something there. It's all about you managing yourself. Technology will not make you an impulsive buyer. Like he said, it's just an amplifier. It will amplify that thing that is really important. All right, we'll just take this short time and I don't go anywhere. When we get back, it's our final guest of the day.